What's up guys, how are my beautiful people doing? Welcome back to my channel, my name is Dan. Uh, I'm wearing a hat today because I wanna show you my morning skincare routine, finally. <laughs> you guys requested this one a lot. I just don't really want my hair to like interfere with that. Uh, before I start, please consider following me on Instagram, on Facebook, subscribe to this channel for more videos related to skincare. Um, I have a Patreon account if you wanna um, help support the channel. I would greatly appreciate that. I, have, I never got a sponsorship on this channel so far. And I very rarely receive products in PR, so um, I'm buying like 99% of these products for my own money. Yeah, if you want to help support the channel, I have a Patreon account. But of course, don't in any way feel obligated to do that. So, um, I'm gonna start by saying that I have very oily skin. I have very acne prone skin. I've been battling acne for uh, 13 years now. It's been a long battle with ups and downs. I think I have it in control at the moment. Uh, it's pretty, it's been pretty good, especially with this skincare routine that I'm gonna show you guys. Uh, I'm still thinking about Accutane from time to time, just because um, I have very oily skin, very oily hair, and Accutane would definitely help with that. Um, I'm thinking about like low dose, long-term Accutane. If any of you have experience with that, please let me know. But um, I also have back acne, which is very difficult to treat. And, uh, just got this little guy right here, as you can see. And I still get breakouts from time to time, like I have some uh, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation there. The lightning just changed, sorry about that. <laughs> but yeah, I'm still thinking about that. Uh, I never took Accutane, just to let you know. Um, yeah, very oily skin, acne-prone skin, and I did have some uh, fungal acne flare-ups in the past, so I'm trying to have a fungal acne-safe skincare routine. Um, a lot of shit. <laughs> now overall I would say I have like two types of morning skincare routines. I have a very like short and lazy one and I have a pretty a more complex one, let's just call it that way. Now for the short one I would just use my uh, different benzoyl peroxide cleanser, amazing product. I would just leave this on my skin for like a couple of minutes. Then after that I would just apply my sunscreen and that would be it. Again, I have very oily skin and that works for me. It's not gonna work for people with dry skin, most probably, uh, or even normal skin. But um, when I use this product, the different one, I'm, I tend not to use any serums because all of my serums, most of my serums have antioxidants and you should not um, use benzoyl peroxide and antioxidants in the same routine because they cancel each other out. Now, that is valid for leave-on benzoyl peroxide products. I'm not sure about or washes, I mean benzoyl peroxide washes. Uh, I, I tried to find some information on the internet, I was not able to, and I just wanna be on the safe side, so I'm just not using any antioxidants when I'm, when I'm using this one. I just use this and the sunscreen works great for me that way. But today I'm gonna show you a more complex skincare routine that I'm doing in the morning. And I just cleanse my face with uh, uh, this one, the Vanny Cream Gentle Cleanser. Uh, I did that now on camera because it's it's a pain in the ass to do that and uh, yeah, just cleansed my skin with this one. It is an amazing cleanser. Um, it is pretty potent, I would say. I think um, people with dry skin should be cautious with this one because uh, like my skin feels a little bit tight right now. I, I, I didn't apply anything and I'm used to applying serums and stuff right after using it. But um, great cleansing power. Um, very simple ingredient list, fragrance-free, fungal acne safe. Love this cleanser, it's one of my favorites. This and the Geek and Gorgeous one. I don't have the Geek and Gorgeous one at the moment, though I need to place an order, so I, I just use this. Um, and then I would go with using this little boy right here. This is the Coast de Baja Vitamin C MSM Serum. And this contains a vitamin C derivative, which is called uh, sodium sorbyl phosphate. And I'm not using this one for brightening my skin, uh, actually. Uh, that's what a vitamin C serum is supposed to do, uh, but I think um, ascorbic acid is a much better option for that. It's, it just has much more data to prove its benefits for brightening your skin. Now, this specific vitamin C uh, derivative, sodium soluble phosphate, um, it, it's been proven to actually help with acne a lot. And um, I'm using it mostly for my, for my acne problems, for, um, to prevent acne breakouts. Uh, it also contains MSM, and I'm, I'm actually taking MSM as a supplement. Uh, it helps with acne, it helps with uh, muscle recovery. Uh, let me actually show you. Yeah, I, take, I take this one. Uh, it helps with uh, inflammation, helps with your joints, with muscle recovery. 
Um, I don't think there are studies, I need to do some more research about this, but I don't think there are studies showing um, acne reduction benefits. But anecdotally, I noticed results with my acne, and I have friends that have much better results than me, actually, with their acne. Kind of jealous. Uh, but um, yeah, I take this, and this serum contains that, so you apply it topically. Um, and again, I need to do more research about MSM used topically, but it's supposed to be anti-inflammatory and uh, possibly help with acne. But I noticed, I noticed acne reduction with this one, mainly because of the uh, sodium sorbyl phosphate, I guess, because I used other sodium sorbyl phosphate serums, <laughs> and I got results with those too. So uh, yeah, I use that as the first serum. I don't use a toner in my morning skincare routine at the moment. You guys, I'm done with my morning skincare routine, but I forgot to mention something. Uh, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a dermatologist. Um, I don't recommend taking this. Uh, that's what I'm doing and it works for me, but I'm not saying it's gonna work for you. Before making any changes to your supplementation, nutrition, lifestyle, consult with your doctor. Uh, I, like I said, I don't recommend it. They are pretty safe, generally speaking, but do your own research before taking this. Just wanted to mention that I'm not a doctor, I'm not a dermatologist. I don't have any certification or any PhD in this field, so uh, take that with, with a grain of salt. <laughs> then I use the Geek & Gorgeous Bee Balm 10% Niacinamide Serum. Now 10% Niacinamide uh, might be too much for some people, so uh, be a little bit careful with this one. Uh, the studies that we have, most of them are using between 2 to 5% Niacinamide, showing incredible benefits. Acne reduction, I think 4% niacinamide is as effective as 1% condomycin for acne, acne reduction, which is great. Uh, Post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, skin tone, anti-aging, basically any, any skin concern help uh, maintain your skin barrier in a good state. Yeah, I'm using this one. Sometimes I'm testing this one at the moment. This one is the Costa Baja 20% niacinamide and 4% zinc. I'm testing this one at the moment. I think it works great, for, oh, come on. I think it works great for me, I'm not sure yet. So far it didn't sensitize my skin because it's a very high amount of niacinamide, the highest I've ever used, but I kind of like this one. It feels really nice on the skin. It's not too tacky, it's, um, but I, I just started testing this one, so I'm not gonna review it right now just because I don't, uh, I actually should apply all these products. What, what the fuck am I doing? Okay. <laughs> I am a mess today. So, I'm gonna use my Costa Baja serum right now. It has a very beautiful texture. It's, um, offers kind of like a, a medium amount of hydration. It's not too hydrating. And I, I love, what sound is that? I love that for the morning skincare routine because like I said, I'm very oily, so I don't, I don't want to get too shiny towards the end of the day. I still get shiny, but I'm, uh, I'm using a powder to help with that. It absorbs very, very fast, actually. Uh, it's already gone. And I'm gonna use the um, Geek & Gorgeous 10% Niacinamide now. Try not to touch the dropper to your skin. Don't forget your neck. I used to ignore my neck, but lately I've been trying to like use all of my skincare on my neck because um, it's getting older. <laughs> Can't believe I forgot to apply the products on camera. <laughs> okay, then uh, the next what I do is I apply this one. This is a this is an azelaic acid fifteen percent cream or gel, something like something in between actually. Uh, this one is the, the only um, azelaic acid, uh, forgotten safe azelaic acid product that I've been able to find. There, there is the Asclare one, which contains 20%. It's a great option. I've never tried it though. Uh, it's, it's a very hard process to actually get it shipped in here. So, I, but I found this one um, lo from a local brand. I, I don't think you'll be able to find it, unfortunately. But it is amazing. Azelaic acid is probably my favorite ingredient at the moment and of all time, I guess. It's almost as effective as benzoyl peroxide when it comes to acne treatment, but much less gentle. 
uh, and besides that, it also helps with rosacea, it also helps with post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, uh, and it's anti-inflammatory, it is an amazing product, multitasking. Uh, I noticed great results since I started using this one in my skincare routine. So if uh, benzoyl peroxide doesn't work for you, if it's too irritating, you should definitely give azelaic acid a shot. It's still irritating to, to a certain extent, it might be itchy for some people, it is itchy for me sometimes but definitely worth it, giving it a shot. Gives you a much more even skin tone, um, helps, definitely helps with acne. In some studies, it's been actually as effective as benzoyl peroxide, uh, but it just takes a little bit longer to work. Uh, however, um, I think Dr. Dre said in one of her videos, you can apply this one three to four times per day even. It's uh, to increase penetration and get results faster. But I don't know how convenient that would be. I, I use it twice a day, uh, sometimes once a day if my skin is like too irritated from the tretinoin. It is a little bit too irritated from the tretinoin today. This is the third day after I apply tretinoins and usually on the third day my skin is like peeling and more red and it actually looks pretty nice today. So uh, yeah, azelaic acid is the shit. <laughs> Uh, if I if I had to like really simplify my skincare routine, I would just use azelaic acid, tretinoin, and sunscreen, and that would be it. It's it's such an amazing ingredient. And the last step, of course, is my sunscreen. The most important step, come on, in your skincare routine, uh, it's just it, all the other products that you're using are worthless if you're not using a sunscreen, basically. So I am gonna use the La Roche Posay Antilles UV Moon 400. Uh, invisible fluid uh, because I have to go outside so I'm, I'm gonna have a lot of sun exposure and this basically I reviewed this one last week I think it is probably the most reliable protection you can have at the moment because they introduced the new filter Maxwell 400 which protects against ultra long UVA rays which uh, and so far I think we don't have any other fil uh, filter to protect against this specific gap 380-400 so it's a very innovative sunscreen, has eight UV filters, very high UV protection, very water resistant, basically amazing. I have to shake it before applying it. I'm gonna need my mirror for that. It's not the most, uh, it's not the nicest texture because it offers such high UV protection, you cannot basically have it all, but um, I have this little piece of hair here because um, I've been to Italy in April and the hairdresser there just basically fucked up my haircut, so <laughs> I'm growing that one out. Okay, um, yeah, it's very, very liquidy. It dries super, super fast. So you have to work it pretty, oh, I think that, I think I applied too much, oops. Maybe I'm gonna spread it a bit on my neck. It dries very, very fast, and you don't have a lot of time to work it in, which is actually nice if you were, you, you're in a hurry. But yeah, this one doesn't sting my eyes. Um, if my skin, if my moisture barrier is not in a good shape, it will burn a little bit, but it comes down after a couple of minutes. Um, if you want a more, if you want a more detailed review about this sunscreen, you can check out my channel. I posted one pretty recently. Very easy to to apply this one actually. Yeah, basically I'm done. As you can see, it has a pretty good amount of shine and glow. Uh, it feels slightly greasy. It's gonna dial down in like ten minutes, but it never goes away. And it has a, has a pretty high amount of alcohol, so if you are sensitive to that, definitely skip this one. But like I said, it's probably the most reliable protection that we have at the moment. Um, one of the most, let's just, let's just say that. Basically, yeah, that's my, that's my skincare, that's my morning skincare routine, guys. Uh, I'm gonna wait for like 10 minutes for, for the sunscreen to, to form the protective film, to dry down a little bit, and then I'm gonna apply some powder. Uh, I guess I'm gonna show you that. On, I'm gonna show you that on camera. So um, see you guys in ten minutes. Okay, guys, I'm back, um, and I am gonna apply. It's been like eight minutes. Uh, meanwhile, I'm gonna apply some sunscreen on my neck. 
I don't use the La Roche Posay one on my neck uh, because um, it's expensive <laughs> and I have a lot of sunscreens that I have to use up. So uh, um, I'm not sure if I should use the, the day long. I usually use this one, the day long kids one or the Avin Sun Simbed. I can also use some uh, not from Lock and Safe sunscreens on my neck. It doesn't it doesn't break me out. So if a sunscreen doesn't work for my for my face, I would just use it on my neck, on my arms, or whatever. I'm gonna use this one. I guess the the kids one has very high protection, very uh, high UVA protection. I think 35, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I'm gonna use like one pump, most probably, or a pump and a half. And um, it's slightly greasy, but nothing major. I'm also going to use it for my years. Feels pretty nice on the skin, very hydrating, very moisturizing. I'm trying not to talk because I'm going to make some weird sounds if I, if I touch myself here. <laughs> it has the tiniest white cast you can not really notice it. Uh, when I'm using this, this on my face, I do notice a white cast just because it makes my teeth look slightly yellow, but not, that's the only way I can actually tell it has a slight white cast. Otherwise, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to tell. So yeah, that's the sunscreen for my neck. Let me apply a little bit for my ears. I don't always apply sunscreen on my ears. I kind of tend to neglect them, I'm gonna be honest. But um, because I'm filming, I guess uh, it just so it feels kind of uncomfortable for me. I am eventually gonna do it every day because I don't wanna have a young looking face and uh, some like old looking ears or stuff like that. But yeah, and then it's kind of like hard to clean that sunscreen out and uh, whatever. It turns red actually. <laughs> My skin is so reactive. Um, so. I am going to use now this, oh my god, my hands feel kind of greasy. I'm going to use this um, Wet n Wild Photo, what's the name, Photo Focus Translucent Powder. Uh, it's very inexpensive, I bought it on iHerb for like, I don't know, $6, $7, something like that. Very inexpensive, very good actually, the powder here, and I'm going to use this brush from Elf, Elf I guess. You can use any brush, doesn't really matter. It doesn't look bad, um, but I'm gonna, I have very oily skin, so I'm gonna get too shiny towards the end of the day. I still get shiny though, but like this really, really helps. It just makes you look so matte. I think I'm applying too much. Yeah, you see how matte that looks? I think some people would actually prefer <laughs> the more uh, luminous look. And lately I'm kind of like embrace, embracing uh, the, the more luminous look. I, I was always about matte, 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 but lately I feel like my skin looks kind of good without powder. So I don't know. I feel like it gives a little bit of color. Nothing major though, it's not gonna look like makeup or something. In real life, it, it basically looks like my skin. I think it looks a little bit more yellow on camera. But that's also because I applied that uh, sunscreen on my neck, which has a little bit of a white cast. But um, yeah, that's it. I am gonna, oh, I forgot to apply lip balm. This is the one I'm using. I, I don't know anything about lip balms. So uh, here you just, use whatever you want. This one has SPF 30 and feels nice on the lips, so um, whatever. And uh, yeah, basically that's my, um, that's my morning skincare routine, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, hope you find it helpful. Uh, this is what works for me. Uh, it might not work for you, of course, we're all different. All of these products are under uh, $15. It's, it's a very affordable morning skincare routine, I would say. If you want to take some steps 
feel free to do so and try out some products from here. I'm gonna link all the products down below. But this is the best skin I've had in a, in a really long time actually, and it's mostly thanks to this uh, skincare routine. Uh, let me know if you've tried any of these products, what do you think about this morning skincare routine, and just leave some questions there. I'm gonna try to answer all of them. Um, just comment something that helps with the YouTube algorithm and exposing this video to as many people as possible. Uh, yeah, see you in my uh, nighttime skincare routine, actually. I'm gonna post that pretty soon. Love you all. Bye.